Okay, good afternoon everyone, and um, I'm sorry to interrupt what I know is the real point of all these events, which is catching up with each other and exchanging the kind of key information that you all need to know, and there's been a kind of tremendous buzz in the conference this morning, and I don't want to spoil that, but I have been invited to speak uh, about some of the kind of bigger things that are happening at the moment in the world that are really going to impact on what's happening to your children and your families. Just a few words about myself. Some of you may have heard of me, some of you may not. Um, I was asked to do a big inquiry under the last government into special educational needs and parental confidence. I spent about 18 months talking to parents across the country about what they wanted for their children and what they wanted out of the system. And that follows about 30 years of working with SCOPE, who are here today, and with RNID and the um, deaf community who are here today. And I now work with parents groups and with local authorities. So I've kind of seen both sides of the picture as well. What I want to share with you this afternoon is just some kind of updates and information about what's happening at Westminster at the moment. And we have a new bill um, called the Children and Families Bill. And within that, there's a very big section that is all about special needs education. And it's very important that you know some of the things that are going to happen around this. And in one sense, it's really good because for the last 18 months to two years, many of you will know there's been a green paper, and there's been a select committee looking at all this stuff. And finally, the government have come out and said what it is they're really going to do and how the SEN system is really going to change. And it's that I'm going to talk about, and it's that that's really important for you to know about in terms of the future of your children and how you should be being involved in discussions locally about what's going to happen to SEN services. So if you can bear with me for about 20 minutes or so, because there's quite a lot there, I'm going to take you through some of the key things. And then if you want at the end, there'll be some time for some questions about what's going to happen. And I wear many of you standing, so um, I'll try not to go on too long, but I do want to do justice to what it is that's going to happen and what it is that's going to change.